Here's Dan Pei. We're doing the last one. Um, I had a few things I had to take care of with Dan Pei first before I went ahead and got to the boss. I had to get, for some reason, an empty bottle because um, I definitely need one of those right now. But actually, I was going after the last piece of heart um, before uh, I went ahead and took on the final boss and, and finishing off any other side quests that I really wanted to finish off. Alrighty. Okay, here we go. Apparently I couldn't decide what to do here. There we go. This doesn't seem like a good idea, Link. Whew. Time has come. The windfish awaits. I got all the hearts. Yay! I always wondered if somebody managed to make it to the other side, because it looks like there's a ledge on the other side, so I'm wondering if there's an actual room there too. I'm sure somebody has. Somebody's probably gone through gone and gotten a no clip here. How the heck did I already lose a quarter piece of heart? That's gonna bother me. I'm not sure if I even noticed that the first time. <laughs> we go into the hole. Final battle with the nightmare. And start. Soon. We're gonna start. As soon as they stop talking. forms that this thing takes make it seem like they're not just the windfish's nightmares of the personification of, you know, the, uh, well, the personification of the windfish's psyche, but also Lynx as well, um, since it does take the form of Ganon at some point. Obviously not right now. And he is actually proving to be a bit, um, a bit more difficult than I was expecting him to be. Oh yeah, and Aghanim. He takes the form of Aghanim, like, right away. Which he would only be able to do if this was actually, you know, feeding off Link's psyche as well. Because what the heck would Aghanim be to the Windfish? Nothing. I always hated that attack.
Yeah, no three shots and you're out for this boy. Yeah, he's being a dick right now. There we go. Four shots and you're out. Next is Ganon. Always screwed up on this part. remember how to beat him. I was pretty sure that I actually I actually needed to grab the Pegasus shoes. But for some reason it just was not coming to me that I needed that. Or I needed to hit him no, I needed to hit him with a charge attack. Not a charging attack. It does not go down as easily as the uh, Game Boy one, even with the boomerang. It goes down easier with the boomerang, nowhere near as easy. Though. Point, I'm beginning to wonder if I should just equip the uh, bow and arrow. Uh. Yeah, thankfully the magic pomade is able to take me back. go. Now he's down for the count.
Yeah, all this existed inside of that tiny, the plug, well, not really tiny, but that egg on top of the mountain. I don't know about you, but I'm calling time war tech on this one. I've already done the, all the bosses. This is just the end, the end game, the end cut scenes. So it's just sit back and relax time at this point. Woohoo! Got a little background noise. Yeah, don't you love it? All these people, characters, all these places that you visited, all these uh, creatures that you got to know, all being obliterated right in front of you. There's that gorgeous painting-like drawing. That illustration just being erased. It's time for Link to wake up. I do feel like there should have been three different um, scene end scenes for this to go through. I mean, well, no, I understand why there's not. Because if they did three of them, you know, one green tunic, one red tunic, one blue tunic, it would make it apparent that the, the whole thing actually did happen and it was not um, in, you know, a, a dream of Link. And of course, granted that we see the wind fish. Um, manifest physically at the end here so that kind of puts that whole thing to rest but still <laughs> he's literally stranded out in the middle of the ocean somewhere with no hope of being picked up by anything <laughs> nobody knows he's out there Well, at least the, the, the text for the end credits in this game is not like on the Game Boy Color game where 
I found out as I was going through because it was recording, like, it wasn't quite recording at the, at the right frame rate, so it wasn't quite catching everything. Um, so when, I was, when it was going through and I was getting the end text, um, it was literally only, only getting half the letters because it was only recording, you know, it was, it was recording at 30 FPS instead of 60 FPS. So it was literally recording half of the, of, of the display because apparently it, the, the uh, end credits for Link's Awakening on the uh, Game Boy Color alternates frames. So each one's going 30 FPS, but they're alternating frames. So every other letter is missing. <laughs> the weirdest freaking thing I'd ever seen, I'd ever encountered. But I guess it's, it, it, I guess it's a common thing in uh, Game Boy games and uh, the games of that time period, especially, um, well, especially the Game Boy games because it could only display so much on screen at the same time. It used little cheats to get around that, and one of those was alternating the frames, you know, literally every other frame. One of those really weird things that you run into when you're, when you're doing this stuff. <laughs> That was Link's Awakening, uh, the, the, the full remake. Um, that was me being months and months late finishing this whole thing off uh, to the point where I'm late on even starting some of, this, some of the other projects I was supposed to have done by now. <sighs> that, you know, that's, that's what happens when I thought things get in the way. You know, we had the we, you know, my my cameras and my phones just broke, like continuously broke, so I had to get the record on. Oh, and on top of that, we had the virus and the quarantine going on. Uh, so, there wasn't really much I could do about that, unfortunately. Overall, I still really enjoyed this remake. I en I, I enjoy it about as much as the original game. I do. Um, I actually think I enjoyed the remake a bit more because the quality of life improvements that they made, there were a few choices that I don't agree with. Um, but uh, at the same time, um, I can't overlook the fact that uh, overall they did improve upon many, many things, and um, I, I get that there's a lot of people that are still like irritated by the whole by the art style and all this whole like um, doll thing that they've got going on. This, this uh, toy box feel that it's got going on, I guess, is what more what I'm looking for. But that was Link's Awakening. I don't have time to go into anything else too much before this thing's gonna automatically shut me out. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, you can check out past videos here. Or you can click here to check out my newest upload. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to stay notified on all future videos.